That's right, Walter Findlay. Oh, he hasn't checked into the hotel yet. Oh, well, I wonder, would you please, the moment he arrives, uh, give him a message, it's urgent. Yes, tell him that his wife called and said, would he please hurry home? Someone is going to kill her. Thank you. <laughs> Who is it? Police Department. Oh. May I please see your identification? <laughs> oh, thank God you are the police. Ah! <laughs> here, here. Ah! Will you please take your hand out of my door? You're making me nervous. Fenway, I'm Detective Bronson. This is Detective Kennedy. Yes, How do come, you do? In, come in, come in. I, I'm sorry about the hand and about asking you for identification, but, well, you don't look like the fuzz. <laughs> You're plain clothesman, then. Miss Fenway, the report says that you believe a man is out to kill you. Is that right? That is right. He's called three times today with threats. He keeps saying, tonight is the night. Do you have any idea who it is? Yes. He's a painter. Painter? Yes. I hired him last Tuesday to paint the bedroom and the den. Can you give us a description? Well, the bedroom is a chocolate brown. <laughs> and I was going to do the, description the den of the in a suspect. Bird... <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Well, um, he's a man in his early 30s. 30? Uh, about uh, six feet tall, six feet. around 180 pounds. 180 pounds. Uh, swarthy complexion. Black hair, fiery brown eyes. <laughs> no, uh, make that piercing brown. Eyes. And when he takes off his tank top, which is often, he has something sexy and Greek tattooed across his chest. Did he tell you what it meant? Constantly. <laughs> what is the suspect's name? Oh, uh, Zorba Apodopoulos. Oh. oh, he's Greek. Yes, and very, very hot tempered. Oh, I know this sounds crazy. I mean, a man comes into my house to paint and, and is so overcome with emotion that, that he, he says, if he can't have me, nobody will. Now I, I sit here terrified. I, I feel like Helen Hayes in a movie of the week. <laughs> Make that Elizabeth Montgomery. <laughs> Mrs. Finley, you know, sometimes these things get somewhat exaggerated. We, we found that Women very often imagine that workmen in the house are making advances. I assure you, this was not my imagination. At first, I was willing to chalk it up to the fact that possibly he was high from the paint fumes. <laughs> or the wine. He brought wine to her? Oh, no, I gave it to him. <laughs> gave him wine. Well, I mean, you can't serve a man feta cheese and Greek olives without red wine. <laughs> Do you always do this for workmen in the house? Only painters. <laughs> you see, you've got to keep painters happy. Especially if you change the color on the wall three times in one day. <laughs> I kept him happy, but I did not show him a good time. <laughs> Mrs. Findlay, are you certain that you didn't do anything to encourage him? Oh, absolutely not. If he mistook my kindness for willingness, it's only because he thinks he's totally irresistible. On the other hand, maybe I shouldn't have danced with him. <laughs> you danced with him. Oh, well, yes, I told you that I changed the color on the wall three times, so when he finally hit just the right shade of beige, well, we were both so overjoyed that we... Well... I thought it was completely innocent. But that's when he started making advances. Yes. Now, what happened? Well, I laughed. And he didn't like that. <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to laugh at a Greek in a bedroom. <laughs> Mrs. Finley, what time does your husband get home from work? Uh, you see, officer, that's the problem. He's in New York on business. But I did leave a message at the hotel. Well, I'm sure he'll come home as soon as he gets the oh, message. Oh, of course, of course. And until then, I think we can handle this with two policemen at the front door, two at the back door, and inside here, maybe just a little SWAT team. 